Hi, and welcome to today's team tips. Um, some of you have said to me, I have a lot of teams and it becomes difficult to manage. And yes, that's correct. It can be. So um, this is my default. I'm in the desktop app. This is my default view when it comes up and it's currently set to what's called grid view. Now you can actually filter out in here into uh, classes, um, the different types of teams that have been created, um, staff, etc. Um, so that's one way of, of filtering out, but you can actually change this view to a list view as well, which might be easier in many cases. And so what we can do is go to click on the cog, switch view. You've got a, a variety of view choices here including the theme but you also got this layout and you can switch between grid and list so if we go to list view close that what we now see is that our teams are all listed down the left hand side instead of being in a grid this means we can move between them really quickly in fact we can move straight into the channels without having to um, go into each team and then click to go to the channel now that's all very well, but you say, I might have a whole heap of teams. Oh, incidentally, you can fold these up as well to help your view. But you might say, well, I've got a whole heap of channels and a whole heap of teams. Well, what you can do is go to a particular channel and you can pin that channel. And it will then appear at the top of your list. So the most regular channels are the ones that you use most often. Uh, if you want to switch back to grid view, you click on the cog. This time the cog's down here, which is a little confusing, but there you go. Click on the cog, switch view, and go back to grid. So that is the end of today's team tip. Hopefully it's helpful if you're managing or involved with a lot of teams at once.